Get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. James Held at Eiffel TV in association with Matt Cleans, Jim Marvell. We're in Scotland today at the Hydro. Head of Ricky Burns defending his world title against Kip Rickiel Reddick. <laughs> Easy for you to say. It is. A mouth, bit of a mouthful. <laughs> How are you with me? I'm joined by Ross Murray after his third professional victory. How are you, mate? Good, mate. Good. good. Glad to get that one done and get my first stoppage as well, which was good. So i delighted to be on a build like this. Um, three pro fights and to be fighting on the, uh, in the hydro and a burns undercard. You can't complain about that. Talk to me about tonight's win. You stopped him with a good body shot, or knocked yep. him down with a good body shot yep. first. Yeah. Talk me through it a little bit. Right? Just the first couple of rounds now, I was speaking to Peter before it, the boy was quite tall and lanky, so he'd been saying to us to go to the body with him. Um, First round, second round, just sort of behind the jab and picking shots and then third round came out and I, I hit him with a good body shot and he went down. I managed to get back up and then just went in and finished him off, hit him with a couple of the body, trapped him in the corner and uh, put him down again and he never got up the second time, so delighted with it. You mentioned being on this big card, I mean, it was only a week ago you boxed in Scotland on a smaller show, yep. so how do you sort of get, get back up for it and get yourself motivated after sort of a week off? Just, uh, um, I only took a couple of days off, so I boxed in the Crown Plaza, just across the road actually, um, last week as you say, so it was just a case of that was a Thursday night, took a couple of days off and then straight back to the gym on the Monday, um, so ah, it was, you, you don't struggle to get yourself up for a fight like this when you're fighting in such a venue with such good fighters around you as well, and it's just different class, and need to thank Sam um, for MGM as well for getting his own such a bill, to be honest with you, cause as I said, after just three fights, three boxing or something like this is unbelievable. You mentioned only having three fights, but you've got quite a big following already. And we Aye. saw a lot of people, know, even though you was on early, have yep. bothered to come and show up and show some support for yourself. Aye. So it's folded well for you for the future. Aye, we've done all right with the tickets. Aye, I've got a good couple of sponsors as well that take tickets for Ayer Lee Landscapes and Graham's a plumber's merchant. So you guys always take tickets and um, all my friends and family, for the Phoenix as well. Do you know what I mean? They'll always take tickets. So, uh, you, you need to have a good support because at the end of the day it's a business and you need to sell tickets. So um, thankfully the guys keep coming to see us and hopefully if I can keep on putting performances and getting stoppages then they'll keep coming back as well. Where do you do the bulk of your training and who's your main trainer? Glasgow Phoenix, you? Peter Harrison. Um, he's training us so again, kind of get a better trainer than Peter to be honest with you. Um, so that, that's where all my training's done and then outside of that it's just training at the gym myself with Jordan McCorry and Big Paul Muirhead, um, we do the majority of running and um, strength and conditioning in the gym with them. So you know, train twice a day, five, six days a week, you know, as well as working. So it's hard going, but mm. when you get nights like this, it's all worth it. Makes it worth Aye. it. One of Scotland's best trainers in yep. Peter Harrison, yep. well respected and someone that's been there, done it and seen it. Aye. So I'm sure he's got a pool of knowledge that you sort of learn from being around him day in, day out. Aye, I mean, I, I've been with Peter now for years throughout my sort of amateur career as well, but um, the majority of my amateur career it was like Pat Marlin, who's Peter's second that was in the corner, but working with Peter now day in day out since I've turned pro, I've he's sort of changed my style a bit as well now to suit the pros more, so um, I have somebody like that in your corner is just invaluable, you know, you, you go in there feeling confident when you've got somebody like that in your corner, that now you're a step ahead of the competition before you even step through the ropes where everything that he's teaching you, so um, it's been brilliant, really enjoyed it since I've come over to be honest with you, it suits me a lot better than the amateurs. We do give our regards to Peter Harrison and we hope some to hear some news imminent on what's going on with his battle to get Scott Harrison yeah. back in Scotland, National I Treasurer. He's back, he is back now. Is he back now? Yeah, he is back, so okay. hopefully now we'll hear some news soon about him getting back in the ring as well. Do you think he'll fight again? Hopefully, aye. I, I, think, I, I don't see why no. I mean, he's, um, Scott was different class, you know, when he was um, in his prime and even when he had his, his, his comeback there before things went wrong again, he was yeah. still looking sharp. So Good I fight with Liam Walsh, decent. it was an interesting was. contest, wasn't I, it? And that was, that was taking it something like two weeks notice as well and Liam Walsh has went on to prove how good he is, obviously fighting kill him off tomorrow and Scott, mm -hmm. Scott took him the, all the way, you know, and I think um, today something like that on two weeks notice just shows you that he's still got it. And, 
you see him in the gym, you know, when he, when he was training, you see him in the gym and he's just a machine, you know, he's just, he's cool. fat and he's strong and now hopefully if he, if he comes back and he gets back to fitness, he can come back and do something because he's probably one of Scotland's best ever boxers, you know, so fingers crossed he gets back in It'd be the fantastic to see him rectify his career and 100%. turn things round. If anyone deserves a bit of luck, it's him, he's had nothing yeah, but yeah. bad luck, maybe Maybe sort of you make your own luck, some people say, but such is life, you know? Ah, I think it's, it's, it's been tough for him. Everything that, everything that Scott does is sort of noted in the paper, you know, and he, he, he can't do anything with it now getting abuse for it, it seems. So it'd be nice to see the papers and now the Scottish press actually get behind them rather than now trying to give him grief for everything he does, because at the end of the day, he's done a lot for Scottish boxing. He put it on the map, you know, and obviously Ricky's done well as well and came on and, and, and took over. But at the end of the day, Scott was filling arenas now back when Ricky was in his undercard. So um, he deserves a, deserves a bit of a break, to be honest with you. Aye. I thought he was going to say when he was in his underpants. <laughs> <laughs> well, that as well, to be honest. I've seen that before as well. <laughs> Let's talk a little bit about the champion, Ricky Burns, in action yep. against Kira Willick, as we mentioned. Yep. Big fight and a big moment for Kira Willick. Mm -hmm. How do you see this fight playing out? I think Ricky's just going to be too experienced for him, to be honest with you. I've never seen now really right, Rick, happy um, birthday, mate. So I, I don't know much about him apart from obviously he stopped 19 out of 21 guys, so obviously the boy can punch, but um, I think Ricky will just be too experienced for him, too good to be honest. If he, if he boxes the way he can box Ricky, I think he'll, he'll win any points comfortably. Any interest from your point of view in Dillian White and Lewis? Are you excited to watch that? Aye, I think that'll be a good fight. Now, Dillian White always gives <laughs> entertainment anyway, doesn't he? So, uh, I think it will be an entertaining fight. Again, he's another one that he's pretty much the only guy that's gave Joshua any problems yet. So, I think if he wins this and wins a British title, then when, when you're looking at it, sometimes it just comes down to luck with boxing. And for me, if Dillian White had fought Charles Martin, he would be a world champion, wouldn't it? Do you know what I mean? So, Joshua got that fight. Now, he done well and he's retained his title, but I think the heavyweight division's wide open now, so if White gets this one and then moves on, he's, he seems a top class operator for what I've seen him so far anyway, so he can get this one and then move on to something else, you know. Um, I think it's with Fury and Klitschko and everything that's going on in the heavyweight division now, it is wide open, so good luck to him. He seems entertaining anyway, which is half a battle in boxing, you know what I mean, so he'll get himself the fights because he'll, he'll talk his way into them, so. Good on him. Listen, mate, it's really good to get you on the channel and spend a bit of time with you. I appreciate you giving me a bit of your time. Things are starting to get a bit crowded, so I'm going to let you get back to your dressing room and your team. And I look forward to catching you again real soon, Ross. Good man. Thanks for your time, Thanks, James. Cheers, mate. Appreciate it.